Welcome back. This is a really, really important series for Galaxy Racer Motivate. Both teams are tied in second position. Things are going to be rough. You can see Masteros. He might even die. Yep. Jackie's well top. They get a big couple of kills here for Galaxy Racer. Another stun. And Lion Axe. LSA still on cooldown. Scatter Blast will give him that. Slick like Yokam's pretty aware of at least some things going on because no one is in this bottom lane at all. I'm gonna go now, snap fire. Actually, it looks like he's baiting to force them to go because Yokam, he wasn't overstepping the mark just yet. Pops the fairy fire, they'll trade the kills. Now even ET is gonna show up. Polo's gonna have a lot of damage here with the Ashtal. Even puts a level in the natural order. Just getting rid of a little of that tankiness effect. Reducing the armor, drag back Q. We'll be okay. In your dreams, wrapping through though. And if they take these stacks away, oh, this is massive for Galaxy Razor. This actually might just put them in the bin. Like Jackie's dead second time this game. They've got Echo Slump available. Q's gonna get caught. Joe Camp can fall with the LSA. That's gonna be two kills. And they're taking the stacks. I, I, I don't know how they come back. Yet on uh, Alacrity himself. Into the Yasha first, but will he finish up the Mantis style? Will he go that infusible? Again, I lose the snap fire. TP is coming through. Mizu's got 21 charges though. They could definitely turn. They need a plus one. And it's going to come through now from In Your Dreams Razor. Yorikam, unfortunately, doesn't have as much survivability as what the Chaos Knight does, but he can really just rely on keeping so his life for as long as possible. For Polo and In Your Dream, the reinforcements have arrived. The cavalry is showing. Darkseid will fall. That is your third death on Maceros. All right. Well, let's see what Phyllis can do. We've said kind of this is the X Factor. They got a sentry, though, so they're aware. Even Juggernaut's looking to get involved just in case. They want to make sure there's no opportunity for Motivate to be able to come back in this game. As they'll cut down Q. Lionax has also got a reset here. He's got Boots Cookie for a little bit better positioning, but Alacrity does not give a damn. Treads, Windlace, he can chase him down. No tier 1 tower as well to juke through. So. There's no damage if Tiny doesn't have levels. Tiny doesn't have levels because there's a, a Razor in his lane. It just feels like it's this never-ending cycle, and they're even looking to take advantage of oh, me. Field. Nice attempt with the toss back, but it's actually going to get Masteros killed. The Delacrity has got all that bonus attack speed from the Yasha. They might even think about going on deep the Tichu Tower. Guys, it's 11.30 minutes of the game. Trying to dive this ET is going to be so difficult because they can't start instantly. Oh, what feel is Echo Stomp. They get the Abba. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Okay. They need to be careful. Here's well. the Rainbow TPs. Alacrity, in your dream. All oh, the coons. They're so not to punish, but motivate. They haven't reset. Straight on top of Jackie's even showing up as well instead of farming. So they've honed onto the Medusa. Jackie's able to get back to the safety of the tower. Really, we've dragged through. They don't have the damage just yet. As Fearless as well is getting chunked down. They'll drop the Omni Slash. Jackie's actually going to lose all his mana. One of kisses Cogs, locks him in. So they find Mizu. That's a big kill on the Chaos Knight. In your dream, diving under the T2 tower as well. But he does still get the kill on top of the Medusa. So they find a third. Make it the In Your Dream Life too. A triple for Lion Axe. What do you know? Motivate. Group together with the rest of his team. They're going to try for a team fight here. They want to bait Jackie. Incoming. Oh, Shoot, that's not a good start in your dream. Toss. Blink away. He actually goes, goes in the deeper. back line. Now Fearless, he's going to get punished. They wanted the lean up, but they won't be successful at being able to bring her down. And now Motivate forced to retreat, but great echo on positioning. Stone Gaze, Jackie has to use it more defensively to try and be able to protect the darks here. Chaos Knight will try and take his life up just to retreat away for Jackie's disengage. LSA on two, and they bring them all down. They've just got way too much farm. For Motivate, they are unable to deal with that at the moment. Lion Axe, Cookie up, Joss in the nick of time. Didn't see the smoke, but they might guess because they're obviously... Roche is on half HP, there's oh, no Jackie. one there. Okay, LSA, doesn't pop the Stone Gaze. Now the Omni Slash instantly with the Fusal Blade. Jackie gets ripped apart, they tip him as well before he dies. Middle tower is under attack. Oh, Phyllis might get... No, not the Cory, just wants to try and... Cut the wave. Found the Chaos Knight. They don't have the damage now without Fearless. Oh, what do kiss his actually job? Maybe they do have the damage here for Mizu. Can't get out of range. They'll try and cancel out this. What do kisses with the split Earth? So they trade a one for one. 
Unfortunately, they lose Masteros too. So if it was just a one for one, you'd be pretty happy there for Motivate, but... And it's delaying it, Fearless? Uh, Echo Stomp? Oh no! He's trying to min-max, like you're just trying to delay this as much as possible, but... That's costing him big. Oh, they see Jackie. has got the damage. Oh, they see Jackie. Oh, they got no. a T2 tower as well, TPs. He's oh, one no. coming through. They need- Jackie just TP'd! Oh, he's dead. He doesn't make it yep. out now. TP on cooldown. Mizu does so much damage. Like, ban it. Get rid of it. Ban Why it. are just we still- it. You're not gonna have many angles, so... I mean, you're not even have a tree uh, volley at all. This is an opportunity. In your dream, BKB's on cooldown, Dire. They're coming over, they need a burst in before the Radiant Outpost TPs are able to come back into play. Is in your dream will fall. First split off, flying out. This was able to control off the snap fire, but do they stick around here from Motivate? Masteros drops the wall, back onto two. Lacrity still got that Aegis as well in the backpack. Yokan forced back and forth with the Spirit Vessel. Should tick him out. No, he's still got the Yules, but it's going to allow Motivate to close the distance. Mizu soloing Fearless. Oh no, Mizu's Chaos Knight rips apart the Tiny. This is even with the Tiny with so much armor, but it doesn't matter. He's even sticking around. He'll run into Mastros. He wants another pick off. He's going to get it. Mizu's got a triple kill. He's gonna hide away in the Shadow Blade. Never mind about hiding away. Let's just get another kill on Q. They've got to use the Stone Gaze. Disarms there. Q, great force away. They're controlling up Mizu, and it looks like this time he will fall. But who cares? Jackie will do no damage if he's linked up. And Radiant. he's got the Ags now as well. This is a big fight. Coming you on over. Get that. A oh, great headband. And he's, he, he linked up the snap fire. Not really the target you want to. Cogs pushing it away. Jackie's going to be in a power position on the high ground. This but he can't it. right click anyone because the Cogs. They've zoned the back away to the northern and southern side. And now with the clockwork falling through underneath vision here. Masteros forced to drop the wall. Phil's going to blink on forward as well. Now with the chain locked down. Lacrity Got gets him. melted. A great fight from them. Still with the three men sleep. Miz is going to look to follow up as well. But he goes, goodbye. Darkseid ripped apart. But he's going to buy back as well. Needs to rejoin them. Stone Gaze pushing it back. Scatter fire blast as well. With the shot here. Cogs locks Miz in place. Another four stop defensively. Phil has got the follow up. The avalanche. It's a ravage from Phil as Tree Volley gets three. This is the motivated roster we've come to love. The comebacks that can come through from them. As Polysum will attempt the TP, the Scatter Blast should cancel and do enough damage. <laughs> nice. You see what, how he's positioned facing the team in case they need to force him to safety. I'll try and start with a Slew Slash. Masteros will give him the Surge. Now he's lost uh, all his mana. A lot of damage. Jackie? He can't play as up forward right now as he thinks. They're going to try and look to reset on the high ground. This is a powerful position for them. Galix Rage, you got no vision right now. You've got to be careful. Die on the high ground. They're going to look to turn. He static links up the support. Masters, but they're on the back of the back. He'll drop the tree volley. Mizu BKB Scotty's in your up. dream as well. They're trying to fall on forward with the snap fire. Jackie still hasn't lost that first life yet. They're going to buy back on the snap fire, but Juggernaut's down. They're looking to punish here though. Fearless blinking. Abbott tree volley once again. The damage from Fearless. The last... Christmas trees flying on forward. He gets a double on Masteros, in fact. And now Jug doesn't have a buyback. 60 seconds. They want to be able to let the... Uh, well, actually, Deuce doesn't have enough mana to even use the Mystic Snake. Might just look to let the uh, Aegis tick out. 30 seconds. It almost ticked. Lionel. Gonna get brought down. ET buyback as well. They're going to look to reset now with the buybacks here from Motivate. Once again, if they can get back on the higher gun, they might look to turn. Laguna Blade. Nice load of sword. Back onto two. Jackie. Not in prime position to be able to use that vacuum. Mizu back alive. They're draining down Jackie dry. He needs to reset for the tree volley. Pushed it back for the scatter blast stun. Mizu's caught out of place here and he's going to fall. He's got a buyback. If motivate, think about walking up this high ground here. But Jackie's full. And you see how I defensive... Think they nearly got the perfect item, sorry, for all of Motivate. Every oh, single one over. of them exactly. Trying to protect their Observe Ward in your dream. Turn to stone, hooks off forward, Wannabe Kisses, Tree Volley as well. Great use of the four stuff. Mass shots with a blink on the back line. Now with the Sweep Slash, but they've stunned up Yokam. You accept it, sends him up in the air, but it looks like Radiant. They need to retreat away. Down for 100 seconds, gonna be the leaner. Earth with a Fearless with a blink in forward, but just onto the illusion. Now with the Omni Slash as well, but Fearless is taking up all the damage. Mizu's gonna have to go in, but now with the Stone Gaze, they'll turn Medusa to disarm. So he's unable to dish out any of the damage at the moment, but he's straight in front of Mizu. He's turned to sleep, but in your dream, just can't leash up Jackie. So Jackie freely right clicking, 
And they're going to end up losing the jug. And even inside the base, they go on Q. That's really aggressive. Q, he doesn't have to back up. So he's actually going to fall. An overcommitment there from the clockwork. They got to wrap all the way around here, it looks like. They got to find Darkseer, but he's standing right in the middle of the team. So good luck trying to get to him before the rest of the boys. Jackie. And it's off. He's going to bottle up this Invis rune here on Fearless. This actually could it, be a I cool play. They saw that Jackie's a bit disconnected from the team, but how do they stop? They'll go online axe, Mimo on the back line as well. Mizu's gonna try and jump, but the Avalanche now with the volley. Mizu, he's gonna be careful. They haven't got the initial burst of Lotus Orb as well. So Shash's gonna do no damage. Mizu, Skadi, kited through the BKB, radiant, they need a retreat, but now the Cogs locks two in place. Both the supports gonna get ripped apart now with the Omnislash as well. Four seconds done, it's on the Tiny. Fearless isn't judged just yet. They're given the cheese and our Galaxy Racer. They're blowing their entire load. You need a retreat the away. Breeze. The Ava toss up in the air. The volley gonna get dropped as well. You can't escape. You can't hide. He would use the switch last once again, but Alacrity, he just has to try and stand his ground and man fight, but he can't even do that. Darkseid BKB. Now how do you kill him? Yeah, and it's gone to the point where he doesn't even need to Mastros. get the sword press through They're gonna the jump. Axe. Four Go seconds on. done this time. Okay, they will bring down Mastros. Mizu's taking a lot of damage with the hookshot forward. Great use of the defensive flicker. It's gonna give a little this bit better it. positioning. Jackie falls back once again. Mizu defensive fearless. Look at the Avatos on two. They got Laguna Blade, but Jackie takes minimal amount of damage. They've zoned away in your dream. Jack is the raid boss Medusa that they just can't go through. So it's gonna force them to deal with everyone else. They'll lose the Tiny. They'll lose the Dark Sea. But they need to get more out of this. They bought back on a lot of heroes. They're not going to get Lion Axe. They might get cube. No, Reality Rift just shy. But they have got Vision. So Q's still going to get chased down here. So in the end, Motivate. They will lose three, but it does cost Galaxy Racer a hefty amount to defend that high ground. Oh, yeah. Buybacks on all of your cores. And you could start you have to gobble up on the range creep. But they go for something here. There's an initial stun. Four star oh, further four star. in. Now they get the static link, hook shot, Double parallel hook. wall as well with the tree volley from Fearless from the western side, but Jackie's falling really low. Another wall as well. How do you man fight those four walls? They've lost the Juggernaut. He doesn't have a buyback. Look, lost the Razor as well. Look who the play cuts through. It's the Mizu show now, but can he do it by himself? Shadow Blade trying to retreat to safety, but the gem vision is going to be there. They'll trap him in the cogs. He'll try and turn with the protection, but it's not enough. Battery salt means that Mizu can do absolutely nothing. Another tree volley down, he goes. They've only got a buyback on the Lena. They're able to quickly take it out. It's wow. gonna be a wow. yeah, two wow. v five. What a comeback. What? 90, is that the biggest turnaround you've seen? What a game. My Lord Motivate, you are on another level. Did you see what the percentage was when it was at its absolute like peak? Like 96, I'm pretty like sure. Do you feel like this is like a fearless hero though? Like, Galaxy Racer have the Tiny. Oh, the Tiny Airlines. Very cool. Very, very cool. Although, Yorikam doesn't have the pack. So, Lion Axe, EMP. One more right click. He's got boots. They both have boots. Oh, that's going to reveal the ward. I... Level 6, just picked up by Fearless, immediately starts oh, making his way play top, actually. The top. Cookie into Skewer. They know that in your dream, use the time lock. That is a very crafty way. Yes. A <laughs> little bit less. They're going Backity. in on to Ricky. So yes. Use the tricks. So got some bling strike charges with the Crete Wave coming on forward. In. Fearless. Next to jump it in. Man's got balls of steel. We're going to turn with the cold snap. Fearless jumping in once again. Yorikam needs the right click. Even Masteros is going to sweep on over. <laughs> then it's a big issue. They might try and commit on to Mizu. Nice leading with the cookie stun. Follow up RP. It's going to be there. That is another crafty way we see from them, these teams to start. Is Yorikam in a position? Well, the deny. Deny their own ward. Very nice. Oh, he's blocked. Oh, 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 Lion Axe. So tornado feelers. Taking a bit of damage. They get the cold feed in Eno Dream if he wants to commit the chrono, but. He's gonna need to go again. 
They got the sentry, they do. They got the vision. Fearless, blink. Up in a couple seconds here. Chrono, there we go. They're just going to make sure they get that Ricky kill. Like, you've got a broodmother who, by the way, has a Dagon on Mizu. What? Who already went the soul ring. Yep. That's not the build I was expecting. Three levels ahead of Fearless, though. Oh, maybe the Dagon's going to come into play here. Ice Blast after the tricks of the trade. Fearless. Spirit Vessel. He's One alive. more tick. Fearless. He's somehow He's going the in. Madman's going back in. Fearless will fall. Max going to drop as well. Alacrity. Fearless. On top of him. We're going to get out of the silence. Great use of the position from Masteros' Magnus. So he's got a target to blink to. They're going to be careful of their group because the blink in. Skewer. Oh, that tornado. Oh, nice. Now, Masteros, he's committed. He might get punished. Jackie's looking to hunt as well. The rating's showing up level 15. Right, bring down good. the Invoker. Taking down Polisun. This is a big timing for Radiant with that Radiance here. Oh, Lion Axe, goodbye. Take on, just rips him apart. They do have to purge on Mizu, but I have buybacks as well if this fight does continue to drag on forward. Blink, RP, finds a tiny in your drink, gonna look to counter up, but the Chronosphere's still on cooldown, so he's actually offering to man fight Jackie, and I don't think he's gonna be able to. In your dream, will lose his life. Great armlet toggles from Jackie. It's a big cliff up in the favor of Motivate, net worth wise. Your experience, very similar as well, but they see Polo under award. They're even gonna lay down the Mortimer Kisses just to slow to allow him to catch back up. Close to the tier 2 tower, Radiant, they also have Chrono, but you really want the Ice Blast for this. Toss back, they'll find Fearless, nice silence, and now Radiant swinging over, try and protect the Ricky. Tornado, is it going to clip at the last second? It's not, but he does still fall, thanks to Mizu's Broodmother. They're looking to hunt though, looking to punish, motivate. They need to retreat away back to safety, but you've got to be careful. Even smoke up from Galaxy Racer, looking to try and get any extra inch of advantage you have in the movement speed. They'll toss back Jackie. Meanwhile, with the Chronosphere off to the western side. In your dream, finds Maceros, and Lion Axe going to be protected. So the Chronosphere completely wasted, and now Jackie feels confident with actually fighting. So Galaxy Racer, that is a big misplay from them. Using the Chrono without the follow-up. Jackie, now in fighting condition, is able to punish them for that misplay. That spawn spider is doing so much. 512 damage. 562. Lion Axe. Consider all of the things with the Nether Shore. Got this ward on the high ground. Joe Ken's gonna try and blink up forward. That's a really important target if they can bring him down. But Dago, they will. He's gonna buy back if he wants to rejoin them, but the RP finds Mizu. Yo Cam's gonna get hunted as well. Jackie with the BKB goes to work. Now with the face is going to the controlled void. Can't get anything defensive off. No Lackey has to get back to safety. Same with Polo. But that should be Roshan. Only 200 away from his own AC. Jackie's a bit from the team. Maybe you can force uh, like a BKB. Maybe even with a Dagon. Okay. Now you can drop the Chrono. He's coming on over. Ice Blast as well. Jackie pops the BKB, but Tiny's in trouble. They'll stun him off the first time in your dream. Finally, Chrono going to get dropped. Now with the Cataclysm, with the Ice Blast. It's already been used. Is the damage still going to be enough? Great use of the Banishment. Lion Axe at the last second. And they've silenced up the Faces Void. They're going to be able to bring him down. They'll trade him with the backline. RP just finds the Invoker, but the damage is still going to be there. Nonetheless, it doesn't matter if they don't have the Wraith King. The Radiant here is they buy back on the Void. Yep. You bore back on Void, on and you can't even catch up. Fearless can stand his ground. He's still got Blink. He needs a target. In fact, Fearless, he's looking at man fight Yorikam right now. BKB will expire. Team? Doesn't matter. He could just run away. Mm. Mastros almost kills Polo. He's going to Blink and actually claim the kill. Polo, skewer. Is it enough? It is. But Mastros will still fall. But you buy back on your faceless void. He is fifth in the net worth on everyone in this game. They're gonna solo Chrono Masteros. Cataclysm as well. That should be enough damage in your dreams. Gotta get out though. He will be able to... Okay, well now you gotta pop a BKB. Turn. Maybe gets a kill on cute. No, great banish from Lion Axe. They even buy back on Masteros. In your dreams, taking way too long. RP should be there. Great buyback. He's going to end up punishing the faces. Wait, maybe bought back previously, actually. So he's down for 110 seconds. And Rady can push really fast. Instantly, Jackie beelining mid. Oh, does he need to buy back there? But, I mean, yeah, just think about it. He's the only BKB piercing stun that they've got. So, may as well do it. Guarantees the kill. Die back used. They found someone here. Fearless. Gonna jump on in. 
Mizu doesn't really offer much right click damage. Mastros again still hunting. What a play from the mag. So impactful this game right now. Gets the tiny kill and out with the sleeping dart as well. Mizu is going to wake up. Be careful. I mean, both these heroes don't have buyback. Jackie 25 too. This is scary. This is a scary prospect of being able to defend your high ground. You've got Glyph. That's quite the way to do it. Say that. Reincarnation back up. Jackie doesn't care if you get bursted down now. Continue to delay. Two minds about it. Back up alive. No chrono though. Team out. Good high ground defense from Galaxy Racer. I better not fall off. Great positioning. Lion Axe. That is quite the spot. Can't blink away. Blink. They're still a, a bit player. disconnected on Radiant. But they're actually coming from the northern side. They're going to get caught out here. Solo RP onto the Invoker. That's a lot of damage in the, the Chronosphere. He's going to buy back. But where's the Faceless Void? He's away from the team. You need the Chrono onto multiple. In Your Dreams finally going to show up. There's the Chrono onto two with the Bastions along with the Cataclysm. He returns to deal with Matros as well. He needs a couple of extra more right clicks. He's not going to be able to get it. Such oh, long the low range range with that Skewer talent. He's out of there. He's got a rush. Ghost Walk's going to get him there a little faster. About this long wrap around though. Oh, they know the smoke pot. Mastros blink up straight on the high ground. They found the brood mother. Mizu needs help and he needs it now, but is he going to be able to get low? The ball, oh, the stun. Void. He can't get the chrono. This arts out as well. Pops the BKB. They're all grouped up with the cataclysm. On to three. It's a lot of damage. I'll deal with the shadow demon. That's such an impactful support to be able to bring down first, but you've blown the chrono and Mizu's falling low as well. Tricks the trade, claims a kill. Ricky will fall after the Aghanims ticks him out for the Wraith King. But the buybacks galore starting to come out. Your camp caught. Nothing the dude can, the team can do to help him. Unless Mastros misses the skewer there. They try and burst him down the ones. Jackie's got the middle of horn. But you see in your dream, just can't commit forward to deal with the Wraith King. Jackie's actually stuck on the high ground. I don't know how Jackie got up there. But he's going to be stuck. How do they actually get him down? Wind Waker's on cooldown for another 10 seconds. Then you try and punish him. Mastros, skewer back in your dream. A time walk away. Fearless as well is still pursuing on forward. But how do you kill off Fearless? Sleeping Dart. Finally, Jackie back down to low ground. Fighting position. He's looking to hunt. Great use of the Force Sauce. Better positioning here. A lot of ultimates forced out. Stunned, so it's point, a 4.75 now. Oh, Dire. Smoked up. Go camp. Blink on forward. Snap fire. Instant use of the Sleep Dart. Controlling up the faces void. He needs to get a big chrono. And again, motivate. They're just not grouped up for it. Well aware of how they need to be positioning a Jackie. That is such a scary prospect. You're always getting three hit. The radiant should tick him out. And it will. They both don't have buyback. He clearly had a very good game. And uh, they don't want to instantly reveal the fact that they're picking an invoker first. They pick the faceless void into it. So they're thinking, well, what the hell are they going on with this? He wasn't actually... a huge part of that kill, Jackie, but he still gets the assist gold and experience from it. Oh, no way. What? Lion Axe. He saw it in a dream of the poison. Oh, oh. the RP. He popped the What? Oh, they're going to be forced Creep. to use it. Just about when. Jackie. Blink in Tornado. Mastros is a bit to awkward. Mastros is looking to hunt. Blink. It's still on cooldown, unfortunately. Jackie falling low. They're going to lose the reincarnation the once. Still got the Aegis keep in mind. Sleep Dot out. On top of the real Faces Void here. Mastros blinks up. Ready to go. They're trying to man fight. Faces Void has got to be careful because Mastros is looking for the jump. It looks like he wants the backline. It's there. Time walk straight on top. They dropped the chrono. The Cataclysm follow as well. Magnus is going to get brought down, but they've got the Aghanim's play to come into case. He's got to be careful now. Running straight onto a lap. Ready, but he can't drop the RP. Blink back forward. Finds Mizu instead for the Deafening Blast. Okay, Wraith King is going to fall. That is the Aegis here. Mizu toss away. Is it going to be enough? Buybacks Megas. galore coming out, but it's going to be Mega Creeps gaming as well. Faces Void on the front line. Jackie's thinking about retreating. They want to look to punish, though. Five seconds till the reincarnation. Everyone back up, ready to go for this last fight as well, potentially. Nullify, Sleep Dart, Fearless looking to jump in. Alacrity getting controlled. Ghost Walk not going to heal him up too much. They're looking to jump forward, but Yo Cam, he's stunned. Q pushed back as well with the Scatter Blast. They need to deal with the backline support once again, but they're not able to for Galaxy Racer. Jackie's out of mana, not gonna matter. Creeps flooding in top of the base in your dream. 
Still trying to do whatever he can. He's got a buyback still in the faces for it if need be. It's actually going to time walk really fine. The back line straight on top of Q. Mastros as well. The RP's there, but it means the faces for it. It's completely solo in your dream. Another time walk. He just gets back away. He's going to farm on the other side of the map. <laughs> couple of bounties. RP, I mean, they found Mizu. Drag back, nullify, scatter blast, stun as well. Avalanche, they need to protect him with the toss, but Yokem doesn't want to go in. There's a radial deafening blast. Mizu, he's still actually healthy enough to get back to safety. And they've doubled the first up for the Double RP. Up Maceros is going to find them both on the back line instantly. Jack is going to try and blink up forward with the BKB, but in your dream. Chronosphere, it's still cool enough for another 20 seconds. Blink away. They're back to safety on Fearless. The creeps are inside. Cataclysm once again. Jackie is away from the team. He's going to get brought down. He actually doesn't have the reincarnation. Jackie's lost his life. But Maceros has found the Invoker. Refresher. BKB pop. Deafening Blast. Cataclysm. Are they going to be able to do it here? And Olacrity, his Invoker, is popping off for the late game. They found the Snapfire. Q will fall. In your dream has a rapier as well. We're finally into tier 5 territory. I don't even remember half of them. We're going to get one now. Ballista picked up. Pretty dog. Dog poop. Trash. Book of the yep. Dead. Trash. Sleeping Dart, buyback. Okay, they're really split up. Faces Void as well. RP drop. Can they chain control him here? Void, he's got the rapier. He needs help. Level two pitch. He he's going in. back in. Void's up in 15 seconds. All the Dyer coming over. But they're very split right now. This actually could be an opportunity for Dyer. Mastros, BKP pop force. On the back line is fearless. They're stalking. Oh, not again. Sleeping Dart, he's still got BKB, Satanic, along with the Chrono. Nullifies out too. the RP once again. They need to try and protect this Rapier. Outpost, TP coming through for the Wraith King. It's all or nothing here. Time will come forward, straight on top of the Wind Waker. Snap 5, back to safety, but Jackie's in. They need to deal with the Invoker. Refresher gonna get popped, potential secondary use of the BKB. Great Deafening Blast, gonna push him away. They're doing a great job to kite Jackie. Chrono's gonna get dropped, but it's on the first life. People used oh, as well. Too. They controlled Fearless. Bashes, bashes, faces void. He's got to be careful. Is the rapier damage going to be enough? In your dream, up on the high ground. They're kiting away Jackie at the moment, but they get the banishment. Hawk toss back stun. Rapier, it's on the deck. Oh no. The creeps are inside the base as well. Muzu's down for 60. Honestly, Jackie can just hit throne if he wants to. Die, they do have Glyph. Yep. They're going to force. Can you kill him fast enough before they actually deal with the base? I don't think you can. He's even got the Agonims as well, so this game's just over. Jackie's going to force him to deal with him. Glyph is going to get used. Deafening Blast, Cataclysm, toss back. They get the Shadow Eden as well on top of it. Great use of the Banishment, but the throne is incredibly low. Jackie's going to blink further and further away. And now with the BKB, they need Bashes, but they're not going to get them. Motivate, trust. In the end, a 58,000 net worth lead.